Watch. We turn now to East Peoria. Mayor John Call there giving his annual eggs and issues presentation at the Paradise Hotel this morning. The hour long presentation focused on the city's accomplishments in 2022 and projects and initiatives for this upcoming year. Call touting a $70 million balanced budget for 2023 through 2024. So to me, common sense, smart spending, grow responsibly, and that's what we've done over the last four years. And it's allowed us to be in a good financial spot to tackle things that have been put off for two years. That includes $15 million in capital improvement projects, including $6 million in street improvements, $2 million for residential areas, $1 million to dredge the Eastport Marina, $1 million to repair century old water and sewer lines, and the Eastside Center is getting a liquor license and more artificial turf. A family entertainment center is in the works. And there's a renewed focus on getting people to move downtown. Our shop down Dinesh has a closer look at two projects aiming to bring hundreds of residents to downtown East Peoria. Development agreements are in place for two new residential complexes in East Peoria, adding nearly 400 new units. I think the goal is to make these very walkable, to have these amenities adjacent to where people live. 50 Blue Town is slated to break ground west of East Peoria City Hall. The 230 unit complex will also have 10,000 square feet of commercial space. The 150 unit Riverview Lofts will be built between the former Granite City Restaurant and the Bob Michael Bridge. The two projects highlighted during East Peoria Mayor John Call's State of the City on Friday. Revitalizing the downtown area and um, you know that's something that's been needed for, for years. So. East Peoria's Director of Planning and Community Development says downtown living increases city vibrancy, which in turn creates more development. So when people live in the area, uh, there's a lot of great opportunities. Uh, that what we hope for is that these projects are going to be catalysts for more residential and mixed-use development to occur. And nearby residents will bring increased business to the $100 million levy district. We have a lot of the walkability components there, uh, but the key is to get people living here, and that really reinforces the investment that's been made by the city. And with more people downtown, there will be fewer cars. But you're not going to have that dependency on the car as much that you can walk over to, to Target or to Aldi and do your shopping, and you can take care of that without having to get in your car. In East Peoria, Shabnam Dinesh, WMBD News.